snowy and cold, or rainy and mild, it's time to dive into this year's winter outlook. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, released its outlook for what we can expect this winter. This year, NOAA forecasts cooler than average temperatures in the northern U.S., including the northern plains and far northwest. The east coast is predicted to be warmer than average, as is most of the south. For precipitation, the southwest also has a higher likelihood of coming in drier than average. After a record-setting hot and dry summer, that's not the wet season forecasts they were hoping for. More than 45% of the continental United States is currently experiencing drought conditions. Drought conditions are likely to expand and intensify in the coming months. We're actually expecting potentially drought to be the, the big news story um, of this winter. La Nina is not a good news story for those areas, again, favoring um, drier and warmer. The Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, and Northern Plains have the best chance at seeing wetter than normal conditions. The driving force behind this year's winter is an anticipated strong La Nina pattern, meaning the water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean are likely to be colder than average. Um, it has continued to strengthen as we've gone through September now into October. It's still a little bit up in the air as to how strong it will become. In a general sense, um, the stronger the event becomes, the more persistent the patterns are likely to set up. It's important to remember these are probabilistic forecasts day-to-day -day variability will happen. What this outlook does not tell us is what many people might want to know, such as exact snowfall amounts or precisely when a storm could occur. It's never too early to start preparing your home and family for the winter season. Stay with Weather Nation as we track every storm this season. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glacier.